Hi everybody, welcome again to Champion Trading. What we're showing you today, this is an Erie's Extreme Metal Detector. It's their model 14 by 14, which denotes the size of the metal detection chamber you see with the conveyor passing through it. Actual measurements are about 12 and a quarter by 13 and 3 quarter. Um, obviously you can't run a package that's exactly that size, it has to be slightly smaller. It's got this really nice touch sensitive control panel. And Aries does this, they make a nice little uh, uh, cover for it, which just raises up, slides down, and you can lock it down, and now you're at your cover. You see we're logged in as engineer, here's the home key. Um, now we're on the engineer's page, we happen to know his code. So, okay. Now we can look at his uh, product setups. So he was running a three pound chocolate here, a four pound, there's a vanilla. Um, and we go back to home page, which is to our main screen. We have a product setup here, which allows you to change things new, back, pull up, restore. Um, and there's a, a number of people that signed in on this, including the plant manager. The unit, as you can see, is all stainless. It's a wash down design, has coated bearings on each end, has a wash down duty motor by Lesson, which is a DC motor. It's operated by uh, the speed control here. You see you can just change your speed very easily right there. We have a standard metal test kit we're using. Uh, this one has to be from Safeline. And it gives us a whole bunch of different samples. For instance, this is a two and a half millimeter ferrous sample, which is embedded in the card here. Well, I know a lot of you guys are familiar with these, but, uh, and girls. On the conveyor it goes. Now uniquely, this unit will indicate the blue, it's saw metal, moves ahead. What's happening, it actually sees the metal as it first enters the tunnel, and then does a second, goes to advance again and sees the metal again. Here's the same test with a 3mm 316 stainless. And once again, it's caught the metal early on, halfway through the tunnel, and it still sees it on the end. So it's, it's seeing that twice. Now you can change, we don't have the manual, so we're not exactly sure, but we believe you can change the delay program in there that uh, lets you find um, different stuff. Uh, here's a, let's see, let's try a uh, three millimeter, this is brass. We're just going to pull it out now. It'll go to green again, turn on, and you're ready to run the next sample. So a couple more samples. Here's a two millimeter ferrous, which is iron or steel. And with most metal detectors, it's always best to have the factory come in, set them up for you, show you how to work them. Um, they do vary from manufacturer to manufacturer slightly. Um, we have two of this model in stock, so we hope you'll visit our website at www.champtrading.com. One ten volt. Incidentally, we're operating on 120 volt, like Cameron has just pointed out, single phase. Also, the machine will run up to 240 single phase as well. Uh, like most of these, it run on a whole range of voltages. So once again, visit our website at www.champtrading.com, and we certainly look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for joining us for this video today.